Hi everyone, Ravi this side. Welcome to Engineering Gadda. So today I'm going to cover the topic how we can install the Docker on our Windows machine. So there is a two way how we can install the Docker on the machine. So there is a one way is to install the Docker toolbox on the Windows. And if you're using Windows 10 and uh, lower than that, then you can go for this. If you're using Windows 11, then you can directly install the Docker desktop there. I'm using Docker desktop in my system. So if you uh, if you are using Windows 10 or later, then you can go for installing Docker toolbox. How you can install the Docker toolbox? Uh, there are a couple of videos on the net. You can find it out. And this is the documentation that you can go through and then install it. Uh, you can go for Docker toolbox. And uh, you can open up this first link you can see this documentation and you can according to this documentation you can install it and whatever step is there you can follow it and then install uh, coming to the second one is to install the docker desktop so you can directly search for the docker desktop and you can come here and you can install for the windows so you can see if you click on this it is started downloading i already have this so I'm not going to download again. So the next step is to set up our Docker Hub. So let me go to the Docker Hub and then Docker Hub. So you need to create one ID and you need to sign up there. And how you will do it, uh, I will show you. I already have it. So this is my personal account. Okay, uh, let me log it out. I have created this uh, you what how you can sign up here is uh, you can go to the docker hub this page will pop up then you need to provide your username okay and uh, you need to provide your email id okay and then you need to provide the password you have to agree on these terms and then you can uh, submit it then it will create a account for you and then from there uh, we can push our images or we can pull our images from there. So I will show you how I have created this account. This is the three field that you need to provide and then agree on this condition and then you can sign up and you can create one Docker Hub account. Now let me go to the sign in and then sign in directly because I already have created it. So let's say it's engineering Adda and the password I already have saved it. Okay, so it is signing up. So you can see uh, this is how the Docker Hub is looking like. Here you can come to the repository. Uh, you can create your own repository. Okay, and like whenever you are trying to push the Docker images from the Docker desktop or from the command line, then it will come here and reflect you. So I will show you in the next videos how you can create uh, Docker images and how you can push to the docker hub and how you can pull from the docker hub everything will cover now coming to the docker desktop let me try to show you how it is looking like so i already have installed it so let me open it it will take few seconds to uh, run and you can see it is coming up i logged in with my personal account so here you can see there are a couple of uh, tabs are there like containers whatever containers are there in your docker it will show you whatever images are there it will show you there so you can see i have created a couple of docker images you can see in the containers i have couple of containers here so this is how it's looking like so please get ready with the docker desktop installation or docker tool toolbox installation and please create an account on the docker hub then we can start so if you like the video please hit the like button and please subscribe the channel for more such content i'm going to follow like i'm going to create couple of spring boot related videos where we can how we can create our spring boot application how we can dockerize those application uh, how we can create a docker image of the let's say crud application where we are using the mongodb as a database or mysql as a database so everything i'm going to cover so please uh, hit the like button on the video and please subscribe the channel thanks